Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and every single Sunday I upload a super motivating video to get you ready for the week ahead and to get rid of those Sunday scaries. Whether that be cleaning, cooking, or organizing, you name it, anything lifestyle related, you can come here for that. Today's video is not only a Sundays at Tiffany's, but it's also the second episode in my spring cleaning series. So this isn't focusing on one particular spot because it's a clean and decorate, but we're basically finishing up the kitchen from what we started in the first episode. So make sure you check that out. Um, I will have this in a spring cleaning playlist because that video will give you tons of motivation. I literally decluttered, got rid of so much stuff in my kitchen, completely rearranged and cleaned. So anyway, we're just catching up on that cleaning portion in the kitchen to start. Um, I'm just doing whatever uh, dishes that were in here and then we're gonna get started on organizing the rest of those drawers. There's only a couple drawers left. Okay, so we have this one drawer here, which is just like way too over full of microfiber towels, which I don't even like anymore. I've been using these shop towels, um, so I got a new one of those, and I also got some new dish towels. I wanted to make sure they looked different because I felt like we were using the cleaning towels to dry the dishes, and that really bothered me, obviously. So I got dish towels and cleaning towels all from Amazon, and I'm just gonna go ahead and wash them. I'll have them linked down in the description box below, and you'll get a closer look when you see me folding them later, but I love these cloths for cleaning. They're inexpensive, and the other cloths work really well for drying your dishes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum out this drawer, wipe it down and dry it, and put the bins in there for when the towels are all nice and dried. Um, and then we'll go ahead and fold those later on in the video and put them back in here. Um, and then after that, we're moving on to what we call the dog drawer. And it was basically like the dog's files, dog food, treats, um, even some bird seed, because the kids like to make um, like little bird feeders in the spring. Uh, but basically, we haven't touched this drawer since we moved in, and it's a mess. We also have lots of doggy clothes in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this out, get rid of like the expired toxic shampoos. I have a new um, doggy shampoo that I purchased from Young Living, and just organize this. All right, so that drawer is looking much better and now it's time to just throw those towels into the dryer. All right, back to the kitchen. Um, if you are new here, this might be your first time hearing this. If you're not new here, sorry that you're hearing this again, but I love the idea of KonMari, like taking everything out and getting rid of things. However, it really helps me to focus on one drawer at a time. 
um, unless all of those drawers are like related. So for example, in my last video, I did all of like the utensil drawers at once just so I could go through all the utensils. But I kind of bring that idea over to my decorating as well because I'm the kind of person that like I'll just be all over the place with decorating. I'll be in one room and then I'll be in the next room. Um, so basically I focus on one area at a time. So right now I'm focusing on cleaning the island and doing the island decor. I love purchasing the like make a bouquet flowers they call it at my store but I like just doing my own arrangements and then also I feel like I can spread the flowers out throughout the house instead of just making one bouquet so it's one of my favorite things to do. I got this Hello Spring um, vase from TJ Maxx. It was inexpensive. The other vase I've had for a while I believe it's from Michaels. I seriously love tulips. They're inexpensive, they're beautiful. Um, we have a couple that grow out front, but they barely last at all. So unfortunately, I do have to purchase them. I'm so excited though, because this spring, I'm replanting what I planted last year. I had tomatoes, um, zucchini, yellow squash, strawberries, blueberries, and peppers. Um, and I'm gonna be replanting them again this year because they did really well last year. Um, but I also want to plant some new things too. So wish me luck on that. We will be doing the outdoor um, part of this series. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed because I feel like this spring um, cleaning series is really just going to give you the motivation that you need to get your home ready for spring. And it's not a race. We can do this slowly and, you know, take our time and be efficient. We don't have to do it all at once. Again, done is better than perfect. I already did this Tupperware drawer in my video, but I'm just switching the teal bins out for some pink ones. I'm just gonna clean off the fridge. It's constantly covered in fingerprints, but it's fine because I'm gonna miss these little fingerprints on my fridge one day. I also wanted to know, you might have noticed, I kind of switched the music over on my cleaning videos to like a more chill music, I don't know. I used to just do like fast music to really get you motivated and going, kind of like workout music, but now I've been doing chill music. Which one would you prefer? Because I feel like when I do slow music, people don't like that, but when I do fast music, people don't like that. So what kind of music do you prefer? I'm just throwing some lemon in my diffuser. It just gives like, I don't know, like a refreshing scent that kind of gives you like a little energy boost. I feel like any kind of citrus essential oil does that for me, but I needed it. Um, it we've been having like really long nights with Ella because she's in an 18 month sleep regression. So definitely that's why I'm looking really tired in this video. A little tip that's really seemed to help me um, is instead of buying like fake flowers and stuff like that, having fresh herbs and fresh flowers in my house makes me so much happier, especially with those wintertime blues that I get because it is 35 degrees in Pennsylvania when I'm recording this. Um, but yeah, I just like those fresh elements in my house. They make me happy and it doubles as decor and as food.
Now it is time to scrub down the sink. I'm just using some dish soap, a little bit of Thieves dishwasher detergent, and I'm gonna give the sink a good scrub. You could also use baking soda, or whatever you have on hand. I've had that dish tray for a long time and I felt like it was time for a little upgrade. So I picked this up from TJ Maxx. It was very inexpensive. I also got a bowl that was by the same brand um, and you'll see that a little bit later in the video. I'm just trying to stay with like a light blush pink in the kitchen because one, it's my favorite color and two, I feel like it kind of just goes with any season and all of my decor. By this point in the video, you can probably see what I mean about focusing on one section and the decor of that section. So even in this little corner, I bought a little cookbook stand from Ikea and also the wooden bowl with the lemons is from Ikea as well. But also the True Roots book is absolutely amazing. You guys have to check out Kristen Cavallari's cookbook. She's coming out with another one in the fall and I'm so excited. But now it's time to clean down this cooktop. It's been a while since it's been cleaned, so I'm gonna need to use my handy dandy razor. If you didn't catch my last video, I did a very deep and precise cleaning of the oven and the microwave. So now I'm just quickly wiping it down. So now I'm just wiping down this area, refilling my Nespresso, and then I'm gonna take a break from this little stand that I've been using for my produce, and I'm gonna be using a little pink bowl um, that I got from TJ Maxx that matches that little cake stand that I put my um, soaps on. Um, this is smaller, but it was time for the tomatoes to go into the refrigerator anyway, so it worked out perfectly.
I really liked this. I also got this from TJ Maxx and it was just taking a little break from the wreaths and just doing this pretty like little hanging thing of flowers. I'll do an overview, like a little spring home tour at the end of this video. So if you don't catch anything, make sure you stay tuned until the end and you'll see it all. Now focusing on this window area, you can see it's starting to get dark outside. So please excuse my lighting. Um, and I'm going to be hanging up my old home sign that I used to have when we, um, you know, we had it up before we did the construction, but since we knocked that wall down, I didn't have a place and so now I'm going to put it here and I really like how it turned out. Finally, I'm just gonna go ahead and give the kitchen a really good vacuum. You'd be amazed at the amount of crumbs we get on our floor every single day from having three toddlers. We have to vacuum every single day. Now I'm just hanging up another one of those little bunches of hydrangeas, but this one is white, the other one is pink. Again, these are from TJ Maxx, and you could just see a little sneak peek there of Ella's Easter dress. Um, my next spring cleaning video will be up this Thursday, and it's gonna be all of the bedrooms. So you'll see what I'm gonna do with that dress and how I'm gonna decorate her room and declutter all of our rooms upstairs. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. So that is coming up this Thursday. Um, I will have a video before that this Tuesday, and that will be our family nighttime routine. So stay tuned for that. Um, also, this is our new table that we just got from um, Pottery Barn. No, sorry, from Pier 1. Um, they both start with P, so I got confused. Okay, so this is our new table that we got from Pier 1, and um, we're still looking for a rug. We found one that we like on Ruggable. So stay tuned. A lot of you guys told us that Ruggable was good for under the table since you could just go ahead and throw it into the washer. I found this extended length table runner at Target. Um, it's really cute, I like the colors. I like how it matches the blue. I will say the dining room is probably the time that we spend the most time in because we eat in here for every single meal. Um, so it's also the room that I dislike the most. So we are thinking about maybe doing wallpaper or painting it like a grayish color. But yeah, I just really wanna change this room up and I'm not sure how. I definitely wanna get rid of that little thing um, that has like the alcohol on it um, or maybe paint it. I don't know, I'm just having trouble with this room. This room is like the least thought about even though we spend a lot of time in here. Um, this fruit bowl was also from Target. These little eggs are from TJ Maxx.
and this little Ray Dunn egg holder um, was also from TJ Maxx. Perfect. I got these curtains from Ikea last week and I'm just going to hang them up with the curtains that are currently up. They're a little bit too long but I think I'm just going to leave them anyway. We do host Easter every year, so I got these from um, Target last year, so I just need to find some napkins that will go with that runner. So now we're moving into the bathroom. I'm just doing a quick wipe down because I recently cleaned in here and switching out the hand towel. Moving on to the living room, this glass sliding door constantly needs to be wiped down because again, it always has fingerprints and again, I don't mind the fingerprints because I know I'm going to miss them one day. So I'm just wiping all of this down first and then I'm going to move over to our mantle. Um, if you watch our vlog channel, you've probably seen the pictures that we put up, but I absolutely love the pictures above the couch. We got the frames from Ikea and we got the pictures printed out at Walgreens. I love the quality. Um, of Ella and Carter's but I don't love the quality of how Tanner's came out I wish it was a little bit more crisp but it'll do for now and then we are starting our trying to conceive journey this month it's officially March um, we're starting to try to conceive so hopefully one day God willing that fourth frame will be full of another baby's picture if you want to come on that trying to conceive journey with us, make sure you subscribe to our family channel, Beast and Family Vibes, because that's kind of where we're going to keep that kind of content. Um, I might put like some updates on this channel, but most of the stuff will be on our family channel, Beast and Family Vibes. So the mantle always gives me such a hard time. I wind up rearranging it like a million times, changing out the decor every single time with the mantle. I just have a hard time with it. Um, so this will probably look different in the next video.
Funny story is I actually got a really cute bunny banner from Michaels and somehow I can't find it anywhere. Chris was even sweet enough to call the store yesterday and they didn't have it, but yeah. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum this up. Um, this rug, everyone's like, how do you have a white rug with kids? Surprisingly, this rug is really forgiving and it hides a lot. I love it, it is super fluffy, so I got all kinds of popcorn stuck in here, so that's why I really have to vacuum constantly. Now I'm just also going to vacuum the couch because speaking of popcorn, we just had a movie night and there's all kinds of popcorn on the couch as well. And then I'm just adding a little bunny pillow that I got last year on clearance, I think from Michael's. This blanket I got um, yesterday from Target. I think it's Opal House. Anything that I know I have a link to, I will try to link in the description box below. But I really love the little tassels on here. And finally, I'm just mopping in the living room and I'm also going to go ahead and mop the kitchen before we start folding all of those towels and putting them away. Finally, I am just taking the towels out and we're gonna go ahead and fold them. It's gonna take about 10 years, but we're gonna get it done and it's gonna look really, really good.
question, are you a towel roller or a towel folder? I used to be a folder, but now I'm a roller. <laughs> There's just something so satisfying about that and yes you did just see the other thing of towels fall to the floor but this is real life and now it is time for the spring home tour i hope that you all really enjoyed this video and that it just gave you some motivation or some inspiration to get up today i know some days are harder than others to get motivated um, i've been there especially when your kids don't let you sleep or you're exhausted i totally feel you on that one but again i hope that you all enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget i've been uploading every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Thursday has been my additional day where I've been doing spring cleaning. So this Thursday, you can expect a full declutter and cleaning of all of our three bedrooms.